So uh, if you're looking at the issues of transnational and international crimes, um, how serious is this problem, especially in our region in East Africa? I think it's very serious. For instance, if you look at Tanzania as a whole, it's a huge country, very long coastline, porous, uh, porous harbor. So the possibility of uh, transnational crimes thriving is very, very great. And can you mention some of these crimes that are particularly giving us a headache? Because even we look at the technological advancement, even the sophistication itself of the cartels, what are some of these crimes that you can look at in this region? Wildlife, wildlife-related uh, crimes, uh, transportation of uh, ivory, live uh, wildlife, these are very serious crimes, uh, drug-related uh, crimes. Uh, Tanzania has been uh, mentioned as a transit for trafficking of drugs, so uh, trafficking of uh, human beings. Every day, every other day you hear uh, the arrest of people transiting through Tanzania, going to South Africa. So these are some of the challenges facing us in Tanzania. And um, when we look at the investigation and the prosecution itself for transnational and international crimes, and of course they are cross-border, I mean, what are the challenges that emanate from this challenge of international and transnational crimes? I think uh, the way our legal system w w is arranged, it was tailored to deal with the national crimes. And some of our penal codes is a very old piece of legislation and uh, it has not anticipated the kind of crimes which we face today. I think this is a challenge and most of our prosecutors, their, pro their investigators, they were trained to deal with the ingredients of the offences in Tanzania, but not uh, the international related offences. So these are the challenges we have really to change, to adapt, and uh, we can only do that through cooperation. Yes, for example, yes, uh, of course Tanzania is affected, but when you look at the region, also there is Uganda, there is Kenya, there is Rwanda, and all this East African project, and we see that um, all these crimes are across the border. It's not just happening to Tanzania, but how do you work, for example, with other countries to ensure there is effective you know, investigation and prosecution? I think at the level of investigation, and uh, especially investigation, I think they have uh, broken a greater ground than judiciary. Uh, the judiciaries, we, maybe we meet once a year, but I'm sure prosecutors, they meet frequently and they have lines of communications, they share intelligence. Now, I think for Wayamo to provide an opportunity like this for judges to come here and appreciate that there are some offenses which are beyond national boundaries, I think is a very big progress.